Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, I wanted to come to you this morning. It's a little different. Um, I listened to a podcast um, with Leslie Vernick and Joy uh, Forster. Um, Leslie is an author. She's also a counselor. And Joy has the nonprofit called To Peace Ministries, um, which is a domestic violence advocacy um, for those of you who listen and watch and may need help. Um, you can reach out to them. Their services are free. And this is the end of the month uh, for uh, awareness for domestic violence and uh Called to Peace Ministries is raising uh, funds uh, because they are a nonprofit and their services are free. Uh, they need your help. And, um, you know, I don't know who follows me. Uh, I don't know your situation. I don't know really much of anything about you. I would love to. Um, if ever you'd like to reach out, uh, Kay Carter Smith at AOL, or else just uh, like you know, Facebook request, uh, or message me also Instagram. But today, um, you know, I want to share a quote that I heard in that podcast and it's just eye opening. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to share it with you. I posted it on my Facebook page and, um, it says this for me to sacrifice the best of who I am to enable the worst in you is not a noble, noble sacrifice. Um, you know, in life, growing up, we believe certain things, we're taught certain things, um, and not all of those things that we were taught uh, were truth or founded uh, in the Word of God. And the one thing that um, this jumps out at me is so many times in my life throughout the whole from childhood to, to now um, because of conflict or confrontation whether it be in the workplace or in your marriage or in a friendship or in your family or with your siblings or with friends um, you know we were never called to be a doormat. Um, we were never called to not use our voice, uh, to speak out against truth, to speak out against what is right. Um, but somehow we grow up in fear, thinking that if we speak out or if we um, say anything, uh, if we come out of hiding or if we uh, really share the truth of what we know, um, then that will be detrimental and that will be, um, that that's wrong. And in all honesty, that is a lie from the enemy. Um, who wants to keep us captives? Who wants to, um, just make us be, um, not in victory to suppress, to squash, to, uh, not ever reach uh, the mission uh, and vision that God has for you, to never fully uh, walk in who you are and who he's made you to be. And so, you know, it's taken a very long time uh, in my life uh, because a lot has happened um, that I don't share, uh, that I don't put out there because it's not for everybody to know uh, the personal things in our lives. Um, but I do want to say that your voice and your story, um, they can help save other people's lives. Um, when you walk through something and you get to the other side and you are healthy and you're thriving and you know, the Lord has put, the Lord has uh, walked alongside you and delivered you, then you are a voice uh, to be reckoned with and you are able to give glory to God for all the things that he has done in and through you. 
And it is only by his power and strength that you're even able to say the things that you do. And so, you know, this morning I'm coming on because um, I'm a part of Call to Peace Ministries um, and I do advocate for for them. Um, and they are needing support uh, to help people. And we can do that for them. People can do that for them. They can, it, you can pray uh, if you're a prayer warrior uh, or you can give. And giving doesn't mean like you have to give hundreds of dollars. Like seriously, every dollar counts. And it can be as little as $5. Um, called to peaceministries.org. Um, and they have a matching grant that uh, if they reach their goal, uh, then they can, um, it can be matched. And you can have a part in playing and making a difference in someone's life. And you know, I have several platforms in which I speak. Um, I have a business, couple businesses, um, and then I have this. And um, I am not a woman that has, that's independently wealthy. Um, but I do uh, have platforms in which I will use and um, I will give as much as I can give. But, you know, if we all just did our part in the injustices in the world, and if we all just spoke out against things that were wrong um, and not worry about conflict, uh, not worry about confrontation and some confrontation is good. Uh, especially if you are enabling someone. And I just want, that quote just hit me so hard, and I think it might speak to you too in your life. So I want you to reflect over your life because, you know, my, my channel is about action. It's about obedience. It's about getting the word and doing something with it. Because lives can't be transformed if you're taking in all of this knowledge, but you're never doing anything with it. And so when you hear something and it resonates and you just ruminate on that and in your life, take action. Do something that will cause a change in the course of your mindset, in your life. But you know, it's not just you. People are watching you, believe it or not. <laughs> there are people that follow me that I can honestly say do not like me, probably. Um, they're just really wanting to know what's going on in my life. Um, and I'm okay with that. There's nothing I say that I wouldn't say uh, to anyone. And, um, but your life, people watch it. And your actions, people watch it. And the things you advocate, people watch it. Um, they draw conclusions. Some are false, some are true. But really, it doesn't matter what people think about you. Um, what matters is that you are speaking truth. That you are taking it to the one true source of truth, which is God. Uh, because truth sets you free. And um, you don't know what you might say or do in someone's life that will change the trajectory of their life. Uh, yesterday, I listened to uh, one of my students. Um, he is a writer. Uh, he's a musician. Uh, he composes beats. And I had heard through the grapevine that he, he did music. And I sought him out and I listened to his music yesterday. And it made me cry. It broke me. Um, and he looked at me and said, my music made you cry. This is a person that has been in the court system for most of his life. Uh, 16 years, uh, 18 different homes. Um, a lot of pain there. A lot of self-harm. A lot of intrusive thoughts. But he's a survivor. He took that pain and he took it and he took it to pen and paper and music and he wrote about it. And I told him, 
I mean, I have cold chills right now uh, because I do believe it might have been divine intervention that I, uh, the Lord put him on my heart and I went and seen him. And uh, we had a good conversation for a long time. And uh, he shared his story. And it's one of much brokenness. I do not know how some of our children in this world survive. Um, I, being an adult, looking at the lives that they share, I think, wow, I could have never, I don't think I could have ever survived that um, without the hand of God on me. Um, and I told him to go make a YouTube channel and I will share it to death and I will advocate that everybody else share because his voice needs to be heard. His pain does not need to be done in vain. And he has a platform to help all these young people, um, to, to just, he's a light of hope. Uh, he's a survivor and um, the things you've gone through uh, in your life, you know, when you go through it, you can't go over it. You can't go around it. You can't go under it. But when you seriously walk through it and you heal and you deal with the pain, you have a platform. God will use you like nobody else. And that is is kingdom good that is doing something for God's glory it is him showing through it is not you it is not me it is not any of us we are nothing without God and he has shown that and he has confirmed that every single day and so I want to leave you with this quote again and I don't know how it's going to resonate with you and your life but I want you to think long and hard in your relationships with everybody that you have. Because we're not an island. People do impact our lives um, in many ways. And um, emotionally, it is uh, hard. So for me to sacrifice the best of who I am to enable the worst in you is not a noble sacrifice. Think about that and have a happy weekend. Thanks.